that we have our projects downloaded into our PLC and our HMI, let's take a look at those screens and it'll, we'll show you the level of control and diagnostics you can get out of this unit. Um, if you can see right now, the system is running. We've got some different voltage regulations we're doing on one of our channels. We're spinning a motor on one of our other output channels. And finally, we're spinning this light on the fourth output channel. So on our HMI, we just need to navigate to the screen. And you can see this faceplate is showing us the actual status of each one of those channels. The level of control that we have, we can set the voltage levels, we can turn channels on and off, and then we can use our Profi energy blocks that allows us to save some energy when we have periods of downtime. So let's start out by showing you how to shut objects and outputs on and off. So we have four different outputs on here. The first output is controlling the PLC. We really don't want to shut that one off, otherwise it's going to turn off our application. But I can show you that just by pushing this button, um, it turns off our motor and it tells us on our faceplate that our output voltage is down basically to zero and that this flashing red is telling us that the output is actually off. And we can do the same thing with our other outputs as well, output three and with output four. So you can easily turn this back on just by pressing the button again. And you can see we're back up to our different voltage levels. Now we'll show you in output three how to actually vary that voltage level. So we've got a little switch on our demo unit here. Where we can force the voltage to go to 12 volts. We can switch it up to 24. Or we can choose to have it cycle through, or you can set it directly from the HMI. So I just want to set this to 18 volts. And we can see on our screen that our output voltage is set to 18 volts. So this is really good for maybe test and measurement customers, where you have to have different voltages to run different tests in your project and then still have a 24 volt supply to power the rest of your system. Next thing we want to show you is Profi Energy. And what Profi Energy allows you to do is shut down specific channels when you have maybe a break time in your system. So let's set our pause time to be about five seconds of downtime. And we're going to set Profi Energy. What that's going to do is it's going to do a safe shutdown of the system. And then it will actually shut off these three channels for a period of about five seconds. So it was off for five seconds, it comes back up which means you're going back into production. The last thing I want to show you is some of the other diagnostic information that you can get out of the unit. Now, first of all, we've got a trend object here. What this is going to show is you can map the different currents and voltages for each channel in your system. So you can see these voltages are changing. There's also an alarm section where if you have a fault or something occur in your system, you can easily jump to these alarm pages, or you can use the system diagnostics of the S7-1500 to quickly diagnose and troubleshoot the alarm. What I'm going to do is simulate a short circuit condition on one of my channels. And I can do that just by plugging in this jumper into my output two. You can see I'm in a faulted state. It's not a red flashing light, it's a solid light. And using 1500 diagnostics, I can jump right to the error message that's shown on the screen for this error. Or using the alarms of the faceplate, I can jump right to my pending alarms. So the nice thing here, I fix my short circuit condition, I hit reset, and I'm back up and running. Finally, I want to show you on the HMI how you can jump to the web server for the PSU. So it's an object that I configured directly on my HMI, and I can log in to the actual PSU 8600 and see different information about the unit. And the last thing I want to show you is if you do have expansion modules on here, the HMI faceplate that Siemens has written allows you to dig in and get information about those modules. Now, I only have a buffer module on here. So if I click on my buffer module, it tells me that I'm in a normal operating state. If I had other expansion units here, this would show me that they're up and running. And you could do the same level of control that you have on the base unit, where you can set the threshold currents, and you can set the different voltage levels of the unit. So that was a really quick demonstration of how you can easily set up a PSU 8600 and integrate it into an S7 control system.